Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas and thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel and welcome to Motivation Monday. Some tips to help you start your week off in a great and positive mindset. So in this video I wanted to talk about stretching at work. Now in this video I'm going to focus on physical aspects but I want to help you recognize that physical is also um, mental and so by stretching your body, you're also stretching your mind in a sense. So just so you guys know, and I don't know if you do, maybe if you watch my other videos, you would know that as a child, I did a lot of sports. My parents homeschooled us, which just meant more time for sports. So I did figure skating for about seven years. Um, along with figure skating came ballet, although the ballet was pretty much directly related to uh, figure skating, so it was like specifically designed for that. So it wasn't like traditional ballet. I also did Taekwondo. When I was very young, my parents put me in gymnastics and then they told me that I was gonna be way too tall, so not even to try. The sports and physical um, activities have always been a huge part of my life. And now I also do yoga. I try to do it every week. If I could do it every day, I would do it every day, although I do some poses every single day. So stretching comes extremely natural to me. I'm used to people, you know, putting their legs up on bars. I'm used to talking to people when they're in a stretching position. So I actually forget sometimes that it's not normal to do that at the hospital. And I don't really care. I continue to stretch at the hospital. I continue to stretch right in front of people and they look at me strange and I look right back at them with a smile. So the reason why it's super important to stretch is because it's obvious guys, like your body is full of muscles and those muscles need to expand and contract. And by helping them be more flexible, it's going to help you feel more alive and it's just going to help you feel better. So on the job, we do a lot of repetitive motions, like walking up and down, we can um, pull patients, pull them up, stuff like that. So by stretching, you're going to alleviate some of the harmful things that can happen either immediately or down the line. So one of the things that I do to stretch is when I'm at the Pixis, and if they had a camera of me, and I don't know if anybody's ever watched me pull meds from the Pixis, because sometimes I laugh, I'm like, this must be the most hilarious thing because any weird drawer that opens up I don't exactly like go over to that drawer I try to do the weirdest stretch to get it out so this helps me obviously stretch but it also helps me you know laugh a little bit because how silly it can look um, so it helps me stay positive the other thing that I do is when I'm at my patient's bedside I literally try to go down and stretch my lower legs so that way I'm in a different position. I'm also looking like I'm giving extremely therapeutic care, which really I am. And then the other thing is that, you know, you're also exercising by going up and down. So some nurses have told me that, you know, it'll kill my knees later down the road. But um, in general, uh, I think if you're more active, like I think what kills your knees is, is not doing that and, and not exercising enough. So. I don't really agree with them on that one. The final thing that I do, and this is really bold, is I do stretch right in front of other people. I will literally start grabbing my leg, holding it behind myself in conversation. I will also like spread my legs and start doing splits while talking to them. I just don't care. I want to feel good. And by actually moving while they're talking to me, I'm understanding what they're saying more. Um, although I think that it distracts them a little bit. The other day I was kind of like spreading my legs and doing like a split-ish kind of move and the person that I was talking to just burst out in, in like laughter like to tears and she was like, I'm trying to talk to you but I can't like ignore what you're doing. And anyways, it was it was actually a really like funny experience because everybody was like laughing at the, it was at the nursing station and so it ended up being a good thing. So um, anyway, stretching in that instance brought a lot of cheer. So. I really want to encourage you, if you don't already do yoga, you know, put on a 15 minute yoga video from YouTube. You don't have to go to a yoga class. I know sometimes it can be challenging to get there. There's so many wonderful videos on YouTube. You know, just choose one that you like. Learn how to do some stretching. And while you're at work in the break room or the bathroom, you know, bend over, you know, lean back. Just, you know, get your body moving. Feel good.
So, all right, guys, I really hope that you like this Motivation Monday tip. Next week, we're going to talk about words and why you really have to pay attention to every single word you say and every word that is said to you. So, all right, guys, I can't wait to see you then. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time for the weekly nursing free huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing School, has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must-read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the dean's list. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.